Welcome to Tunnel Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 9 Introduction to Internet and Email. Content of this video is What is Internet, Intranet, and Extranet? What is the uh, definition for Internet and WWW? And what are the types of Internet services? So, before entering into the chapter, want to discuss what is the necessity of internet. It is important to understand what a network and what are what is the importance of network. So first of all what is network? Network is a collection of interconnected devices that are it may be a computer or a printer or any other device. So a network is a collection of interconnected devices. So a group of devices is connected to form a network. In the group of devices, the devices may be a computer or a printer or a fax machine or sometimes there may be some other things. Then why the things are connected? If the group of elements or a group of computers are connected, then we can share the content or data in one computer to another computer easily. So if a computer, for example, the set of computers in your computer lab are connected uh, internally, that means a first computer data can be transferred to a tenth computer in a computer lab. Likewise, if the connection of computer is uh, expanded from one floor to second floor, third floor, then the connection of network is expanded. So it is able to connect a set of computers within a floor or within a uh, campus or it may be within a area. That means from head office to a branch office. So the types of networks, LAN, WAN, MAN, local area network, metropolitan area network and wide area network. There are some other divisions also, but the main three are LAN, WAN and MAN. So, if the computers are connected from one country to another country and the communication is possible throughout the world, then it is coming under wide area network. Because of this network technology only, we are able to transfer the data from one place to another place within a fraction of second within the world. So if the computers are connected within a particular uh, or small area, then it is said to be local area network. The distance is very small. Then the, if the distance is more than land, then it comes for camp, campus area network, one building to another building. Then another if the connectivity area is extended or more than the campus, then it will come for metropolitan area network. One place to another place. Metropolitan area is for the metro cities, Delhi, Mumbai, like that. Uh, next, if the communication is between from one country to another country throughout the world, then it is wide area network. For the wide area network, we need internet facility. So without internet facility, we cannot connect a computer from one place to another place. Here, several networks, small, big and all over the world are connected together to form a global network called internet. The internet uses TCP slash IP. Simply it is TCP IP, Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol to transmit data via various types of media. What does this protocol means? A set of rules and regulations to be followed while transferring your data from one place to another place. 
for example if you are typing a website in the browser and you can see that http colon double slash see the website www.onlinespa.com so when we type a website in the browser and press enter key you can see the https dot double slash so what is this uh, first see the lock it shows that it is secure that means your website is secure https hypertext transfer protocol secure this is the full form of this http yes so while we search a content in the browser this protocol only transferring the data so this type of set here behind this uh, four word, four letter https there is a set of rules which is to be followed that is here tcp so there are many protocols among that https is one of the protocol to transmit data via various types of media so you are going to learn the protocols in detail in your third standard here you know what is a protocol protocol is a set of rules to be followed uh, to transfer a data uh, what is the uh, how the set of rules are trained it is again set of instruction it is a software code the internet protocol ip addressing system is used to keep track of billions of users each computer on net is called as host so if we are connected to the internet then our computer is one of the host in the network the internet is the most cost effective method of communication in the world yes because of the internet connection we are easy to transfer data documents from one place to another place so it, there are two advantages uh, one is the time is saved next one without free of cost it uh, we are easily to uh, we are easily able to transfer the data here they want to say about three things one is internet one uh, next one is extranet next one is intranet all are coming under network but there is a difference so first one is intranet intranet is the website used by the organization to provide a place where employees can access company information like policies procedures staff directory department information tools and collaborate to social sharing tools similar uh, they are giving the example as facebook here uh, we can understand the concept intranet as a separate website by a individual company so the company or employees can alone access the website and they can do their work of transferring data information inside that that is intranet next comes the extranet yeah an extranet is a private network that uses internet technology and public telecommunication system to secu uh, securely share part of business information or operations with suppliers vendors partners customers and other business here the network is extended here the uh, geographical area is less here the geographical area is more and it is using internet technology as well as public telecommunication system that means um, the actual uh, we are using internet the people those who are using the common people those who are using internet are said to be uh, public people those who are using but there will be some con uh, like companies separate companies uh, even like the metro bases uh, some uh, important companies they have that separate network no one can uh, use that it's a private uh, Uh, network connection in that network connection particular systems are connected in particular region and they will use the uh, communication medium that means 
if the computer is connected to the other computer in a computer lab, if the communication is wired, wired, wired in the sense the computer is connected to the other computer through the wire. But how we are connecting when we are using our mobile and computer means we are using air as our medium of connection. So we, our connection is wireless communication. So the extra net means of a private institution or a private company having its own network. So the network may be wired or wireless. Next comes the internet which is known by us and which is used by us. Works by using protocol called TCP IP. TCP IP allows one computer to talk to another computer via internet through compiling packets of data and sending them to right location. What does this mean? Um, best example is our email. If you are sending an email, our content is transferred from one location to another location. While it is transferring, the content the data is divided into many small divisions and it is passed from one place to another place. How to divide the data? What is the procedure behind that? That uh, is the role of quick working process. We don't know about anything. We are simply creating an email address and we are creating a uh, compose mail and simply we are taking the send button and it is moved and we are saying that I can amend the mail is mistake. We know only the outer part. But internally there are many works to be done. But everything is done is fraction of seconds. That's the uh, that's the beauty of uh, telecommunication or the information technology system. So our data which is typed in our computer is in the form of text, image, audio, video. Okay, But how it is transferred? We know that it is a wireless communication. So app has to take the content. How it will take the content? Our content is a wireless The uh, procedure protocols behind that and it is a big process you will learn in your higher studies simply know you are transferring your data from your computer to another computer and it is transferred through the air medium through wireless communication as we know using internet we are able to uh, use email with enabled audio video conference services, online movies and gaming, you know very well this. Data transfer, file transferring, file sharing, often through FTP, file transfer protocol. Then we can pass instant messaging, internet forum, social networking, online shopping, financial services. So all the things are possible only because of that internet. So internet is possible because of networking. So first point is network, collection of computer related devices. Next part is internet. If the connection is throughout the world, then we need the internet technology to make it possible. So while we are using the internet services, we are able to access all the things which are highlighted here. Then, we want to, being a computer application student, we are going to learn some of the technical terms related with the WW and Internet. First one is domain name. What is that domain name? It is a name or an identity which became an online identity that can be accessed by the web browser. That means the www.sbaonline.com. That is a domain name. So from the name .com, it is said to be generic domain name. So .com means it's a commercial thing. .go means it's a government. .org means non-profit organization. .net means network support group. So based on this three letter word, we can understand the website related field. The heart of intranets and the internet is called as domain name system, DNS. It's a separate chapter in your talk standard. 
the way computers can contact each other and do things such as exchange electronic mail that is our email or display web pages the internet protocol uses this internet address information and the dns to deliver mail and other information from one computer to another computer simple one place to another place the data is transferred how it identifies that this particular data should be transferred to a particular computer only based on this domain name system Next part is there is another uh, country level domain name .in for India .au for Australia .us United States of America .jp .ru .s there are uh, all the countries are actually having their domain name then you must know what is the URL so url uniform resource locator this is the full form of url uniform resource locator it's a important question every server on the internet has an ip address that means every computer which is connected in the internet is having a ip address the ip address is actually this is the ip address with a four segment number but it is very tough to identify or memorize this number so instead of this They are, instead of this number, they are giving a name that is the domain name system. Actually, this www.google.com is actually related with some of the number, some combination of number which is given uh, here. But uh, if we are if we are asked to uh, use the number for browsing something in the internet, means we feel very hard to find out. So only the name is replaced instead of this IP address. then this url is having first one is prototype next one is subdomain next one is uh, domain name and another one is top level domain sometimes it may be extended here it is www.google.com sometimes it may be www.google.co.in what is the meaning co means again commercial dot in means it is related with india so it will search the result of the uh, content which is searched Related to the country of India, if the website is co.in, if it is co.il, then it will search for the results related with the United States of America. So URL is an address that shows where a particular page can be found on a worldwide web. URL is an abbreviation for Uniform Resource Locator. Then we know domain name is the replacement of ip address what is the ip address it is the identification of a computer in a internet then we, mu- we must know who are controlling this things or who governs the internet one of the most frequently asked question c a n n was created on september 18 1998 and incorporated on september 30 1998 any US states of California it is headquartered in Playa Vista neighborhood of Los Angeles they have given the location the internet as a whole does not have a single controller first point it is not having a single controller but the internet society which is a voluntary membership organization takes the responsibility to promote global information exchange through the internet technology the internet corporation for assigned names and numbers icann administers the domain name registration so why we are creating even if you are going to have your own company you want your own website address then that particular website address should be registered in icann so they are monitoring the website names and numbers then what is w3c world wide web consortium this is an international community that includes full time staff industry experts several member organizations these groups work together to develop standards for world wide web so as you know if 
uh, the website or the internet is used for some other illegal thing then they will take actions to um, action to deny that website or they will hold the website or else they will reject the website to enter into the internet so everything uh, is controlled by them but there are many divisions to um, take actions for the people those who are using internet illegally for many other wrong things but the committee which is organizing or which is monitoring us what one is CANN who is taking responsible for the names and numbers that means the uh, taking care of the uh, set of computers which are in the network of internet this world wide web is an international organization that improves the web it is made up of several hundred member organization from a variety of related it industries so this is uh, ww to facilitate better communication ability and co cooperation among all the stockholders so nowadays everything is carried out through internet so they need to perform the uh, world wide web in a in an efficient manner so they are taking care of that and it was established in 1994 by the creator of ww we'll ask the question right who is the inventor of or uh, who created ww means tim bonds so because of he nowadays we are able to uh, sit in one place and we can see the content which is happening in another corner of the world because of the internet only live telecast is possible and many things are possible especially in pandemic only this internet is helping us for communication so you have learned what does uh, ICA and then what is the W3C and what is the URL and what is the IP address what is domain name system uh, what are the top level domain names what are the familiar domain names or generic domain names what is internet what is intranet what is extranet so these things we have learned we have discussed next one is types of internet service so you know very well than me because nobody you are all always with a mobile phone or playing something in the phone all are becoming very ticky so wireless radio frequency bands are used in the place of telephone or cable networks one of the greatest advantage of wireless internet connection is always on connection that can be accessed from any location that falls within network coverage wireless connections are made possible through the use of modem this is modulation and demodulation modulation means uh, previously before the introduction of our data card or wifi hotspot uh, if we need a internet connection at your home we need two things one is our telephone line another one is the modem this modem is converting the content which is in the computer to um, analog to digital signal again digital to analog signal so if we want to have a communication a person like if you are a person you need a computer you need a modem you need a telephone line the person whom you want to communicate also that person should have a, a computer modem and telephone line it was one of the uh, one of the process uh, nowadays it is not in uh, great use some of the place still they are using but nowadays it is not in our great use it is not used in many places but previously modem was very important to com- for the communication but now we are having uh, wireless communication mobile you know very well the use of mobile so the soft phone provides voice plans with internet access mobile internet connections provide good speed and allow you to access the internet then hotspots each one know what is a hotspot hotspot are sites that offer internet access over a wireless 
local area network so if you are having a hot spot in your house uh, at the time many devices can be connected and utilize the internet technology so the wifi technology which allows electronic devices to connect to the internet or exchange data wirelessly through radio waves then broadband so high speed internet connection is provided through either cable or telephone companies one of the fastest options available broadband internet uses multiple data channels to send large quantity of information so many of them heard the word broadband connection so broadband means the way to transfer the data with high speed so this broadband also possible with wired and wireless communication then dsl dsl which stands for digital subscriber line that is the cable connection so uses existing two wire copper telephone line connected to one home to service delivered at the same time as landline and telephone line so some of the people who, those who are using they may know there is a telephone line they can use the telephone landline for communication as well as the same line is used for the transfer of data for internet then cable cable internet connection is form of broadband access through use of cable modem users can access the internet over cable tv lines cable modems can provide extremely fast access to the internet Next one is the satellite. Sat in certain areas where broadband connection is not yet offered, a satellite internet option may be available, similar to wireless access. So satellite connection is similar to wireless access. Then ISDN. ISDN Integrated Service Digital Network allows user to send data, voice, video content over digital telephone lines the installation of an isdn integrated service digital network is required at both ends of the transmission on the part of user as well as internet access provider so this isdn allows user to send data voice and video audio content over digital telephone lines or standard telephone lines so isdn also need a cable for transmission dongle send data call so many are using this nowadays dongle send data call today many dongles provide wireless capabilities for example USB Wi-Fi adapter are often called dongles. So the USB with Wi-Fi adapter are called dongles. Since most computers now have built-in Wi-Fi chips, mobile data adapters such as 3G, 4G dongles are more prevalent. So there is a difference between comparison. What is a dongle and what is a data card? dong refers to any removable component used for enabling extra security usb dongles can be divided into wifi dongles bluetooth or memory data card it is a removable electronic card which is used for storing of data expansion card memory or flash card identification card so the data card is of storing data here it is used for a uh, used for wifi and it enables extra security so you learned about internet intranet extranet in what is the internet and what is ww and what is w3 consortium and what is uh, domain name system what is url what is ip address and the types of internet services that's all for this session thank you have a good day
Thank you.